عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته طلاب الفرقة الثانية عام شعبة الرياضيات باللغة الإنجليزية إن شاء الله هكون مع جزء في تابع المشتقات الجزئية اللي هي الـ partial derivatives هنتكلم فيه على نقطتين النقطة الأولى الهوموجينيوس فانكشنز أو الدوال المتجانسة وهنتكلم عن تاني نقطة اللي هي أويلر سيرم فور هوموجينيوس فانكشنز هنبدأ مع بعض بأول نقطة ازاي نقدر نقول ان الفانكشن f of x دي is a homo function او دالة متجانسة we can say that the function f of x of y is a homo function of order n if it satisfied that f of lambda x lambda y equal lambda power n f of x و y يعني لو قدرنا اللي احنا نشيل كل x by lambda x and y by lambda y if we have Lambda power n power two power three power five times the main function f of x or y. Then we can say that the function f of x or y is a homo function of order n. يبقى دي أول نقطة إحنا عرفناها. إزاي نقدر نقول إن الفانكشن اللي موجودة قدامي is a homo function. تاني حاجة نكون عارفينها. Euler theorem for homo functions. نظرية أويلر للدوال المتجانسة دي يا جماعة بنقول فيها إيه؟ بيقول if the function f of x و y is a homo of degree n يعني أول حاجة عنده the function f of x و y must be a homo function then the function f of x و y satisfies the following relations يعني بيقول لو فعلا كانت ال function f of x و y كانت homo function يبقى هي satisfies the following relations اللي هي relations الخاصة ب أويلر سيرم The first is x f x plus y f y equal n f. The second x squared f x x plus two x y f x y plus y squared f y y equal n times n minus one f. How to solve it? We have steps to solve. First, we should prove that the function f x is a homo function. Of order n by we put x by lambda x and y by lambda y. If the function f of x is satisfy Euler theorem, then we can take the power n or the order n and put it in the relation of Euler. For the first example, if the function f of x or y f of x y is given by x squared minus y squared times g of x y g means sine cosine or any other functions so we want to prove that x f x plus y f y equal to f and x squared f x x plus 2 x y f x y plus y squared f y y equal to f we notice that left hand side the same left hand side in Euler theorem. So only we should prove that the function is a home function and we should find the value of n and put it in the Euler theorem relations. Firstly, put every x by lambda x and every y by lambda y. We have here lambda squared x squared minus lambda squared y squared g lambda x over lambda y you can cancel lambda by lambda and take lambda squared common factor we have x squared minus y squared times g of x over y all this means the main functions f of x y so f of lambda x lambda y equal lambda squared f of x or y that means that the function f of x or y is a homo function of order 2 that n equal a n equal 2 now we can say that the function is a homo function of degree n equal 2 satisfy Euler theorem for a homo function we can write Euler theorem relations and we can put in pi 2 and put in pi
by 2, 2 times 2 minus 1 times f. Firstly, that we can find x f x plus y f y equal to f, and the second relation will be x squared f x x plus 2 x y f x y plus y squared f y y equal 2 times 1 f, that's equal to f also. So we can find the two relations which is which are required. The second example let f of x y y it's given by x cosine y over x plus y tan y over x. We want to prove that x squared f x x plus 2 x y f x y plus y squared f y y equal 0. We note that this is left hand side is the second relation of Euler theorem. Now we can begin with the first step that we will prove that f x y is a home function. We put x by lambda x and y by lambda y and find the order or the power n. Firstly, taking this function, we want to prove the function is homo. We can put x by lambda x and y by lambda y in this function. We have lambda x cosine lambda y over lambda x. We can cancel lambda by lambda. And lambda y tan lambda y over lambda x. We can cancel lambda by lambda. And take lambda common factor. We have lambda x cosine y over x plus y tan y over x. This formula is the value of f of x y y. So we can set that, say that f of lambda x lambda y equal lambda f of x y. That means that the function f of x y y is a homo function of order of degree 1. Now, from the second relation of Euler, where f x y is a homo function of degree n equal 1, so f x is the phi Euler theorem for a homo function. From the second relations, which is required, x squared f x x plus 2 x y f x y plus y squared f y y equal n times n minus 1 f. Put n by 1, 1 minus 1 here will equal 0, then all right hand side will equal 0, which is required. The third example, let the function f x y equal x minus y over x plus y all power n, satisfy the following relations, the first x f x plus y f y equal 0 and the second x squared f x x plus 2 x y f x y plus y squared f y y equal 0 the two required are the left hand side in the Euler theorem so we begin with proving that the function f of x or y is a homo function then we take the power of lambda and put it in the Euler relations we prove that the function is homo we can put x by lambda x and y by lambda y lambda x minus lambda y over lambda x plus lambda y taking lambda common factor and you can cancel lambda by lambda so we reach that x minus y over x plus y o to the power n That's give us x minus 1, x minus y over x plus y power n. That's the main function f of x or y. Let us put here lambda power 0. That means that the function is a homo function. Is a homo function. But here n equals 0. Lambda power 0. So we can say that f of x is a homo function of degree n equals 0 then f of x satisfy Euler theorem for a homo function we can write the two relations of Euler 
Euler function or Euler theorem. X f x plus y f y equal n f and x squared f of x x plus two x y f x y plus y squared f y y equal n times n minus one f. So we put n equal zero. Right hand side here will equal zero and right hand side will equal zero. So the relations of Euler theorem will be x f x plus y f y equal zero and x squared f x x plus two x y f x y plus y squared f y y also equal zero which is required that's the end of this section good luck